Doctors always give you the worst case. That mean the operation's not going to work. Ben might even talk about it. Yeah, but loads of people are deaf and they manage just fine. There's some dodgy contact of Phil's back on the scene. Danny? I'll cast him. Nah, no way. Ben wouldn't, not without his dad. He ain't that stupid. Callum, Ben's not about the talking. If you wanted talking, you shouldn't have got yourself such a mean and moody one. We ran out of milk, he throws a shop for half hour about it. <laughs> let alone what he's had to deal with the last few weeks. Don't, just let him sort it out in his own way. He'll be fine. You just concentrate on your police assessment thing. <laughs> you do trust him, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. Reflexes? That was well, Kung Fu Panda. Oi, sorry, I'm sorry. I forgot about the ears. I'll write it down for you. Look, oi, I will write it down for you. All right, or no, or no. Hey, yeah? Right, the thing is, right, Callum's birthday is coming up. And I was thinking we could, we could throw him a birthday party, a surprise one. Surprise, yeah, with a football theme. Yeah? Because round the corner, they do West Ham birthday cakes. No. Oh, all right, I heard you was a musicals tap dancing sort of fella. I'll do one straight. Oi, oi, rude. Right, two hours, okay? Right, look, this, this better be legit, yeah? Yeah. So, Mr. Highway, why do you want to join me, old Bill? Mick, the interview is not going to say old Bill, is it? Well, that's a black mark straight away. You know, you're stalling me. Never question your superiors. Obvious answer is, uh, you know, the, the handcuffs and the uniform. You're not taking it seriously, are you? I am, I am, I am, I am. <laughs> right, OK, final question. Very important question, this one. I need you to think about this very, very carefully. How high do we need to promote you to get the inside on the Mitchells? <laughs> now I'm winding you up. Come on, you're going to be sweet. OK? Trust me. All you've got to do is get there on time. Right, yeah, of course. Yeah, cheers. Hey, you want to buy your boyfriend some happy pills, mate? Uh, not illegal or Class A or in any way addictive, obviously. You know, because that stuff can seriously mess with your head. Stuart, <laughs> sure, what are you talking about? Ben just nearly broke my neck, mate. Well wound up. He's waiting outside Ruby's club. I don't know what for. No, he wouldn't tell me either. Oh, I'll be honest with you, if Ben wants to pay a couple of tonne for a couple of hours office space, I'm not asking too many questions. I let myself in. You want to tighten security? Danny. Impressive. I've, I've got my contacts. Right. Let's talk business. No problem. So it depends on what you want to take on, how many cars you can turn over. Are you taking me for the ride, sir? What? Is this some kind of game to you? No, no, no. You obviously haven't got your mind on the job. You haven't given me one straight answer to one straight question. Why is that? Mr Hardcastle. I'm, uh, Mr Mitchell's assistant. Uh, sorry I'm late. I've got the uh, figures that you asked for. I can tell you what you need to make this work. Right. Well, finally. Shall we? 